Hi guys, welcome back to Code Android. In this video, we are going to see about Seekbar. Let's create a new activity and give the name as Seekbar activity. Don't forget to check the launcher activity. Open manifest and here you can able to see two intent filters. So remove the intent filter for spinner activity. Go to the layout file and change the root layout to linear layout. Remove unused code. We need to create a view called seek bar with this match parent height as wrap content. I am giving the padding as 20 dp. I am assigning an ID so that I can access this one from Kotlin. Create a text view to display the result. Assign an ID so that we can access it from Kotlin. I am giving the gravity as center. For testing, I am giving a sample text 888. Okay, we got an error. Linear layout doesn't contain orientation. So add a orientation as vertical. Now you can able to see the text coming in the center. I want to make the text as bigger. So give the text size as 24 SP. I want little more. So I am giving 30 SP. Let in it where slider as sigma. Let in it where result as text view. Link the variable to the appropriate views. Slider dot max equal to 50, which means the slider will start from 0 to 50. By default, the slider value will be 100. If you create a seek bar and you didn't given any max, then by default it will be considered from 0 to 100. For seek bar, we have a listener called on seek bar changed listener. So we'll set the listener to this slider. Object on seek bar change listener. We are getting an error. So, so click on the error and implement the methods. The on progress change is called whenever the change is happening in the seek bar. So that time I am changing the text of value to the progress. So progress dot to string. We'll remove the to do quotes. And we'll run the app.
you can see when I am seeking the bar, the value is changing in the result. So the seek bar process is ending at 50. So whenever we are seeking on the progress bar, this on progress changed is calling. So seeking to the progress. On start and on stop we have. After stopping the seeking, this method will be executed. Here I am changing the text to selected plus seek bar dot progress. This will return the current progress of the seek bar. On starting, I am changing the text as started at and the seek bar progress. Let's run the program. You can see I just clicked on the seek bar so that it is showing that started at zero. Now I am changing the values. You can see the text as seeking to. I left the seeking at 20. So you can able to see the result as selected 20. That's all for this tutorial guys. If you have any doubts, please put it in the comment section. I will try to answer it. Hope you like it. I will see you on my next video.